videos before I stop for today. Sorry about the abrupt end to get the last video. I just noticed that I was going over the limit, so. Is your name Joey? No. Because I'm going to call you Snowy Joey. But that's not my name. I can't hear you, Joey. You're talking too slow. Fantastic! You look like a hippie! So, are you gonna represent me? That's you bet, kid! And as a signing bonus, I got this! Cool helmet! That is a sign summoner oh, that is used to attract sand mites. Right! And it's all yours! <laughs> well, I'm off to finalize the paperwork! I'll have my people call your people! Do you have people? The Sonic Summoner allows you to interact with the mysterious oh, and intelligent sand mice species. Despite their innocent appearance, sand mice are very effective and aggressive hunters. Simply equip the Sonic Summoner when you are near a sand mouse house, and a mouse will emerge to greet you. If the mouse likes you, it may offer a bit of high-caliber tactical assistance. So it's basically a... Uh, it's basically the... Mr. Zircon of uh, Ratchet and Clank 1. I never really used this sand mice. Nor do I ever really want to. Let's take that off actually. Yeah. You got a headgear. Sonic Summoner. Take that off. You get headgear. I'm I think you can get the O2 mask here. I like to wear the O2 mask around regularly because it's cool. I don't remember what the third one is. It's been like two, not two years. What are we talking about? Probably last July. The last time I actually played through the entire game before I came to let's play it. Anyway, we're at Quartz HQ. Which, for those of you who didn't understand, that means headquarters. Which, for those of you who don't uh, know what a headquarters is, you just stop. It. Just stop. It. Planet Umbris. Umbris. I, I say Planet Umbrella. As you know, the I and the S are just replacing the word, I mean, the other Ella, so. Alright, so this is where it is. This plan is. Welcome to my oh. challenge course. Now is your chance to prove yourself strong and brave like me. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Quirk talks a lot of stuff. Quirk talks a lot of stuff, but done after a while, he gets to figure out he's one of those How types that talk a lot, done? but they can't walk the walk. They can talk the talk, better. but they can't Later. walk the walk, basically. I'd be dead by then! What? Alright, Clank, let's get going. Anyway, Cork's one of those types that can talk the talk, but he can't walk the walk, like I'm saying. You know, he, he calls himself brave, he calls himself a hero. There's like one time in the series where he saves your life, and, and that was in Rack and Clank 3. And that was at the last boss. And I'm pretty sure you actually didn't need him to save your life, he just came out of nowhere as random stuff or something. Hi there, Buzz Ball. That's a real beauty. I'm not so broke now. We 
I'm going to record two more videos and I'm done for today. So.